Welcome to the highlights of the fourth stage of the Giro d'Italia Women 2024, which runs from Imola to Urbino, over 134 kilometers. The old town of Imola was host of the start, where Elisa Longobogini still wears the Maglia Rosa as leader of the general classifications. And as we leave Imola, we expected fireworks from the start, and we were not disappointed when attacks are flying to get into a break. Then, early on, a nasty crash in the peloton. Almost the whole Covidis team is on the tarmac, including other riders, but Severin Ero of Covidis had to abandon the race. Then, in the meantime, we have a break of four riders, including Clara Emmond. The Canadian rider has some compatriots, but dropped them on the first climb of the day to San Marino. She's getting four riders from the peloton. That is already thinned out. And from this pack, riders try to break clear to bridge towards Emmond. And the group has formed in a chase, followed by the peloton, who cross some amazing views along the way. However, they won't have the opportunity to enjoy it because of the hard racing and hot weathers, with temperatures above the 35 degrees Celsius. In the peloton behind the chases, the top five of the GC is sitting comfortably and they're not panicking, but pedaling with a steady pace towards the finish line in Urbino. And on the second climb of the day, Emmons' advantage has grown to almost four minutes. And behind her, the chasing group is now upping the tempo with Cecily Utrup Ludwig to gain some seconds for the GC. And Soraya Paladin is joining her. But it's not enough for the chasing group as the Canadian Clara Emmond has entered the final kilometer, which has a Strade Bianchi Siena style entrance as the final kilometer. She is hurting but cannot suppress a smile. She knows that she will win her first ever race and it is a stage in the Giro d'Italia women. So Clara Emmond wins the fourth stage in the Giro d'Italia women, followed by Soraya Paladin 17 seconds later. Cecily Utrup Ludwig is now third, 20 seconds behind the Canadian. And a fight by Elisa Longoborghini and Lotto Kopecki in the final 100 meters see them finish in eighth and ninth position, more than one minute behind Emmond. The Italian still leads over the Belgian world champion. The chase and a great ride of Cecily Uto Ludwig sees her move up the ranks to third, only 38 seconds behind the Italian Maglia Rosa.